It was a fantasy plan for a mythical country that only exists apparently in the minds of Ottawa Liberals and like-minded Laurentian elites. Alberta Premier Jason Kenney slamming the federal throne speech, arguing it ignored his province's economic plight. And Alberta was not recognized in yesterday's throne speech with the one passing reference about effectively uh, phasing out the energy sector. Kenny called the speech an attack on federalism, saying it repeatedly stomps on provincial jurisdiction. He also pointed to demands made last week by the premiers ahead of the speech, specifically more money for health care and fiscal stabilization reform, saying those requests fell on deaf ears. Kooky academic theories like intersectionality found their way into yesterday's throne speech, but not one word about health transfers for the provinces that are carrying 80% of the cost. What he's doing here is, is signaling what he wants it to mean. This political observer says the throne speech was vague in instances, giving Kenny ammunition to spin it as he saw fit and to up pressure on the feds. To make sure that the federal government um, includes in some of the things like infrastructure spending, job creation, uh, investment in diversification and so forth. Not one word about fairness in the Federation, about Western alienation. The fiery reaction coming at a time when Alberta's separation party has gained some traction, polling at 7%. Could stoking the divide between the feds and the province fuel that movement further? If you promise too much and don't deliver, if you whip up the anger and don't uh, provide policies and results that, that quell that anger, uh, it could certainly come back to hurt him. Kenny and other premiers will continue to press Ottawa in unison for more control and money. And while he has his own beefs, Kenny may be best off focusing on shared concerns for the near term. If they're smart and strategic, they'll focus on the things they do agree on. We know that they agree on health care transfers, as an example. In Edmonton, Courtney Terrio, City News.